The story is called Dustbin Dad. It's written by Peter Benley and Russell Ato. And it's one of my favourite stories to read with the children. My dad is a dustbin. There's one thing he hates. It's seeing us leave any food on our plates. Don't throw it out. It's got flavour and taste. Just pass it to me and it won't go to waste. Dad gobbles up all our leftover food, even the bits that are squishy and chewed. Unfinished sandwiches and cold soggy fries, unwanted broccoli and half-eaten pies, tomatoes with tooth marks and old scraps of fish, crunchy bits left on the side of our dish. Clammy spaghetti, the whites of boiled eggs. Your father, says Mum, is a dustbin on legs. Now we have a cat named Amelia Scramp. She's sweet, but quite frankly, frankly, a bit of a wimp. That mog, said the vet, needs some push pep up power. You mix it with water, it tastes like fish chowder. One droplet will perk your puss up, puss cat like heck. It's a mere sixty pounds, we take cash card or cheque. Later that day, on a snack finding snoop, Dad saw a pot and thought, ooh, leftover soup. He tastes one spoonful, then two, then three. This chowder's delicious, he chuckled with glee. He carried on slurping the stuff in the pot till he'd guzzled it all. Yes, the whole blooming lot. He'd just drunk a pint of puss pep up brew. Now what would happen? What would that brew do? Dad gave a big burp and then declared, this is weird. I seem to be sprouting a gingery beard. Then he gasped as his hands became grrr, grrr, glomping great paws. His fingernails turned into needle-sharp claws. He started to quiver. He started to quail. Then out of his back of his pants popped a tail. That potion was potent, no doubt about that. My dad has turned into a gigantic cat. Dad sharpened his claws on the dining room door and knocked our best crockery onto the floor. He pounced on and swallowed a very large bug and totally trashed our new table and rug. He licked himself clean with a satisfied purr. Then, hack, 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 coughed up a large ball of fur. He trampled the blooms on the neighbour Miss Horn and I can't describe what he left on her lawn. Miss Horn shouted, shoo, from her kitchen, and then, yikes, out of the door shot her puppy dog Sykes. Mum tried to grab him, but stumbled and tripped, and in the kerfuffle, got her bottom nipped. Dad hissed and spat with his hackles right up, then fled up the tree from the fearsome wee pup. Stop, we all yelled, but watched in dismay as Dad reached the top reached the tree top and it started to sway. Yap went the puppy, snap went the bro. Gosh, we all gasped as my dad went, meow. He fell into the rubbish with a clatter and din and then we heard a loud burp coming out of the bin. Dad had changed back again quick as a flash and stood quite bewildered in yesterday's trash. What happened, he groaned. Am I dreaming or mad? No, declared Mum. Just a real dustbin dad. So never leave food where your father can grab it. He's likely to start up a scrap-eating habit. Then he too might suffer a similar fate, unless you eat all of the food on your plate. There we go. The end. See you next time, guys. Thank you.